so this drill bit has been in here since I got the motor. It's just part of the drill thing. I'm going to remove it before I start tearing the motor apart. And I think I'm just going to pull the motor off and inspect the carburetor tonight. But basically, pry bar, screwdriver, if you don't have the chuck, put the screwdriver in one of the holes, find engagement with your pry bar and loosen it. Takes a couple stabs to get it real loose. And that's loose. Basically just a pry bar or a flathead and, and another screwdriver. Drill bit. A big, long drill bit for a gas power drill. Don't know what the heck I'm going to do with that. I'll keep it around because it's in good shape. Um, looks like a 10 millimeter, and I don't know if my 10 is just too big and I use it too much or what, but when I went on there, it's it's awfully loose. So I think I may have to break that loose with something else. And it's way smaller than 7 16 and bigger than 3 8 And 9 millimeter is too small, so don't know exactly what to do there, but I do have a couple of little small everything wrenches, you know, crescent wrenches, adjustable wrenches. I call them the everything wrench. I need the three inch everything wrench. Huh? My buddy knows what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, this, this little thing needs some serious work. I'm going to pull it apart. Give me just a few minutes. Might try and change the lighting. It's a little dark. I've got all the lights I can on in here. And I just put this one up above me. I think it's making some weird shadows. Um, I need to grab a little bowl to put the carburetor in to clean it out. And try and find a couple different angles for carburetor cleaning and such. But this is the best angle I could find for tearing it apart. So I'm going to just leave you for a second and loosen some of these bolts. Like... I don't want to strip the nuts out or strip the bolt heads out so it, there's two bolts up here and there's there's studs down here so there's nuts on those um, I'm going to get this thing I'm going to get the motor off tonight it's going to happen it's a little bit late but not too late I'm used to later nights than this so I'll be right back alright so I've got them all broke loose all it really took was a little tap with a little hammer, I already put it away, and a little, you know, Phillips screwdriver, because there's a Phillips bit in these, and as you can see, it's very loose now. All it took was a little tap, and then I could just spin it, really, which means it wasn't very tight to begin with. Uh, good thing that I'm not going to be reusing this hardware that's in it, and it's going to have a totally different mount anyway, but... Let's just pull these off. I got the bottom bolt, the bottom nuts loose too. Pull this off. I guess just some Phillips heads for the control. I didn't look what the bottom engagement was. There's one. I hate losing hardware, even though I'm not reusing it. Even if I had air tools, it wouldn't be useful here because there's not enough room. I have a new little compressor.
I don't know if it's big enough to run tools. Maybe just a little air grinder. And, you know, airing up tires and stuff. Working off of hand tools for so long. It would take me a while to reaccumulate my air tools once my big box was all stolen from me. That was a really bad day. So the engine is free. It's a really nice looking clutch belt. Where's my cutters at? Oh, I put them back. Be right back. Really kind of sucks not having a cameraman. I don't know because I've never had a cameraman, but I could assume that it would be really nice to have a cameraman. For one, he could hand you tools, and for two, he's there running the camera. He can pause it, and in most cases, the guy that's running the camera edits the video. I don't edit, I can't edit, I'm shooting this on my phone, but anyway, I'm going to cut these zip ties. to sharpen things in my new position at my job, but uh, Phillips, real easy, these are just a couple of Phillips in there and get the control off, I'm just going to leave it attached, I think it's got a kill switch and a throttle for testing purposes, I will be putting a full twist throttle on this thing with a kill switch that's on the handlebar. But just to bench test this, it's going to be nice to have a little handle and kill switch, throttle handle and kill switch. Pull this off of here. Gotta love those little magnetic trays. Keep track of your bolts, especially if you're doing a job where you're putting it right back together. You're just like, where do my bolts go? There's like 16 of them over in one corner and 28 of them over in another.